Okay, it's Andy Graham of FoboTraveler.com. I'm in the country of Malta. It's a little small country, about 400,000 people, just south of Italy. That little boot thing, it's an island state. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and went to 101 countries. 102 soon when I go to Bucharest here in a few days. Um, I answer global questions about how to travel and how do you live your life, how to have a traveler's, traveler's lifestyle, I guess. Okay, Bob the Squid. Ann Arbor, Michigan ask, Hey Andy, is there anything you wish you could have packed on this trip but couldn't because of your packing size restrictions? Uh, the big thing I really would have liked to pack was my uh, my wash bucket. <laughs> I carry this bucket to wash clothes in and I but I don't even if I could have done it I wouldn't be able to dry the clothes here that easily because and, and wash the clothes because I just have no privacy whatsoever here in Europe. Uh, there's the washing here in Europe is worse than I get in Africa, which is really means a lot to me. I mean, to say that the, to get my clothes washed in, in Europe t is more complicated than it is in Africa is worse. Because in Africa, I actually wash my clothes myself. So it's easier to wash my clothes myself in Africa than it is to wash my clothes in Europe. I, I find that they mix all my clothes up in the same wash machine. They don't put them up to dry. Uh, it, they, they let them sit out in the thing. Um, it's really scary because at the end of the day, you, you kind of know that uh, they're doing this with the sheets. They're just letting them... Ugh. They're just letting them sit out there for two days to dry, and they're probably half molded before they dry. Um, these are in hostels, and the ones, the, the best thing in the hostel is if the, if the hostel is actually paying a service to wash their sheets. That's what you want. You don't really want to know that they're washing their own sheets because they don't do a good job in Europe. Uh, I wish I would have been able to bring my uh, light that I read books with and I wish I would have been able to bring my universal converter which is a special thing that I use to make it into a plug. It's just uh, two wires really going. I could actually make one here but um, it's a little big and it's it's a uh, thing. Um, but I really, I, I should have brought my mosquito netting um, and I, I kind of answered this in another question so I, I'm kind of Generally, I, I would have liked to have had another five shirts, and I would have liked to have had another two or three pairs of pants more. Um, I don't like the number of shirts I have in Europe. I, I really need more shirts, more underwear, more everything here. I really need 15 days worth of travel stuff. I can only I only have about four, so I'm ending up wearing shirts two or three times, socks two or three times. It, I'm really being a hobo here. Why am I not shaving? It's because it's just about impossible in these uh, dorms to have some privacy when you, if you wanted to shave with a straight racer. It's so wet. It's just horrible experience. I, I really feel like a hobo right now. I just gave up on I, I have an electric razor and I could shave, but you know, you're never alone. You're just never alone. And it's kind of annoying sound to, to sit there in the middle of the dorm or someplace. And you and you can't use the restrooms more than about thing. I'm it, it's just everything I have to do is a special thing. I don't just get to get up, wash my face, take a shower, shave and do these things. Uh, you're, you're always living out of a bag here in Europe, so um, it's got to be the closest I've been to a hobo and <laughs> really being a hobo in my whole life. And that's why the beard's here, guys. Um, there's a lot of things in my backpack that I carry that are just Mickey Mouse uh, extra stuff, like I, I carry s screwdrivers to fix my computer and things that make my life easier. And uh, on the other side is there is a there's a pros and cons. Uh, would it be just better to just go buy them, buy a screwdriver? Probably, probably I will go lighter from now on. I'm going to go uh, just mainly because I'm just tired of fighting it. Um, I would rather go pay 10 euros to buy a screwdriver if I needed one to, to take apart my computer and reset the RAM chips than to have one with me. I mean, all this extra stuff is convenient and it works real good when I'm living in a place for... Uh, uh, 30 days or two months or something, but it just doesn't work when I'm 
uh, traveling relatively fast and I'm I'm kinda planning on traveling more I think I'm gonna try to limit my time in any one location to one month and get rid of this idea of two or three months that's just too long um, I'm realizing that I'm becoming stagnant the value of traveling is to have new brains new people to talk to and that new new people in my life keeps me young while I, it do, I, I don't stay young by uh, uh, staying in one place I actually become old so um, I didn't really uh, it's really the clothing that's the problem I, I don't I need 15 days worth of clothing change in Europe so that I can find a wash machine and that just isn't possible. That's that's about seven days more than I usually carry anywhere on the planet. Because normally, uh, but Europe tourism is about. They know that they don't have to have wash machines. They don't have to have laundry mats. They don't have to have all this stuff because the tourists are only coming for a week or two weeks, and they don't really do that. They just come, live in their clothing, and then go home and say they were clean while they were there, okay? Uh, but I consider any hotel, restaurant, hostel, any hotel, restaurant, hotel, lodging, hostel, whatever kind of camping, whatever you can, anybody that doesn't supply a way to wash your clothes is a wanker. Okay, I think it's the essential ingredients of living. You wash your clothes, you eat, uh, you, you got to know how to supply these things to your clients, your people, their residents, the people that live in your hotel or hostel. You should be able to wash, have, people should be able to eat real easy, they should be able to wash your clothes, they should be able to shower easy. And when, like, I shouldn't say that, well I will, I'm here in the hostel, hot, I, I'm not going to change, I, it's a long story. I'm in the hostel, hostel Malti here in Malta and the guys were having a conversation about taking cold showers in the dorm here um, I'm in a, a, a little room over to the side here so I have hot shower but nobody should ever run out of hot water in a in a hostel and you know I don't care how warm it is they should have it and uh, they should have all the creature comforts first and then you have your party second but that's not how Europe is they keep the party first and then the, the uh, comfort second and people you know, in their delusional state, just uh, put up with the crap, and they they get they just they're not like me. I'm I'm not gonna get. I don't care what the fluffy part of the hotel is. I want to know, do I get my basics done? The only thing that they really do really good here in Europe is internet, and I if the internet goes, everybody goes in a panic. If it shuts down for five minutes, they go in a panic. Okay, Andy Graham, thank you, Bob. Good question.